Welcome to the first World Scout Education Congress. In November 2013, over 400 scouts from more than 100 countries gathered in Hong Kong to discuss the core business of scouting, education. The Congress was hosted by the Hong Kong Scout Association. With a warm welcome and impeccable management, they ensured that every participant had a smile on their face throughout the event. The on-site participants were also joined by over 1,500 online participants who contributed to the discussions through over 16,000 mentions on our Congress social media channels. The Congress was a global city where each day participants had the opportunity to discuss the general topic of the day in the morning and then dive deeper into it during the afternoon. The first day was all about the society we live in. The keynote address and sessions, but also our online platform, proved to be an excellent space for debate. Christine Lowe's message echoed throughout the discussions. It is definitely much easier to say what other people should do, but when you have to make the decisions to do it, that takes us into a deeper depth, depth of thought because we just don't just say it anymore, we have to implement. Participants concluded that the fast pace at which our societies change is affecting scouting, and that the increased mobility, interconnectivity, and technological advancement pose both a challenge as well as an opportunity for us as a movement. The benefits of promoting the diversity within our movement came out prominently in discussions. Attention was also drawn to the importance of offering the opportunity to learn relevant life skills through our youth program and training. Education was at the center of debate the second day. In a world where young people's senses are constantly occupied and information flows rapidly, where the scouting stand? Chris Lonsdale's keynote address motivated us to reflect upon our educational proposal. The other really important part of scouting is this whole idea of self-education and self-learning. And as Robert Baden-Powell said, that a, that a man, a person who knows how to learn by themselves, is set up for a successful life. After an inspiring keynote, participants debated the connections between non-formal and formal education today, as well as the contrast between the learning environment of scouting versus the teaching environment of schools. That was praised as an effective tool for educating young people, and it was emphasized that its relevance is becoming increasingly visible in today's world. The evenings were a time for relaxing and experiencing the richness of cultural diversity within our movement. Keynote speaker Amr Khaled challenged the participants at the opening of the third day. Can you, as a scouts, to encourage our youth in the world to dream? The focus is back on scouting, and the participants debated about the impact our movement has on our societies. Participants recommended that scouting worldwide should strive towards a regular evaluation and frequent adaptation of its youth program, in accordance with the needs of its membership. Overall, the Congress has motivated the participants to reflect on the education we provide, the society which we try to make better, and the ways in which we realize this.
with 40 million young people as our members and growing, our potential for creating a better world is truly enormous. However, in order to bring positive change, we first need to understand our societies and the needs of our young people worldwide. In order to be prepared for what might come in the future, we must devote sufficient time and occasions to reflect upon that future. The Congress has proven to be exactly that. An opportunity to inspire, discuss, reflect, evaluate and look forward into the future of scouting.